Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of March 2019. This is going to be for the first half of March starting from the 1st through the 15th of March 2019. Um, and this reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So let's see what's coming up for Virgos for the first half of March 2019. Uh, be mindful of the fact that it is a general reading. It may, it, uh, it may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. Um, for those of you who are willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me for that uh, on my email ID in the description box. All the personal readings are done within 24 hours of the time you send me the payment proof. And um, so, yeah. For those of you who have not followed me on Instagram, they can do that. The link is in the description box. And I do daily readings only on Instagram. So if you don't want to miss out on them, you can follow me there. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's coming up for Virgos for the first half of March. I've pulled out one card from the uh, Miracle cards, one card from Secret Language of Color cards. I'm going to pull one card from the Romance and Jericho cards. And then... Um, I will pull two cards from the Rider Waite deck, two cards from my play cards. So let's see what's coming up for Virgo for the first half of March. <clears throat> I hope you have a beautiful month ahead and I wish the same for everybody out there. Let's see. I will begin with the Rider Waite cards here. Let's see what's coming up for Virgo for the first half of March 2019. Yay! Page of Pentacles paired up with King of Pentacles. Six of Cups paired up with Five of Wands. Uh, these two cards here are the same as the, they ca uh, came up for the Leo uh, people. So, but these two cards are different. So let's begin the reading. With the combination of cards, the meaning of the, you know, uh, the meaning of um, the whole uh, reading is changed completely. Um, it's, it's more like, you know, I'm thinking of the energies that you would be... Um, You would be hearing from somebody uh, from your past. It doesn't have to be your love, you know, love. Uh, it doesn't have to be your ex, I would say. Uh, it could be anybody. It could be a, a childhood friend. It could be somebody that you uh, were in touch with before. And now it's like, you know, you are not in communication with that particular person. But uh, there is going to be this... Um, um, I feel like with the Six of Cups here, there is this, you know... Um, soulmate connection somehow there uh, you know and i believe once this person reaches out to you once this person uh start communication with you once you see this person or this person shows up um in your life i believe there is going to be this um uh, disruption in your life and it will be pretty much affected your work and finances very much it's it's something that you would be uh, for some of you, it could be your ex. For others of you, it could be somebody that you liked in the past. And that particular person had been very much influential in your life. And once they come around this time in your life, you would be spending more and more and more time with this particular person. That would kind of going to affect your work and finances. Um, it's more like, you know, the time that you would be spending with this person, you would be, you know, flying high and it's like, you know, you are, you would be very much into this person, spending time with them, enjoying their company and stuff. But when it comes to your work and finances, um, you would start, you know, there is going to be this, you know, build up of, uh, um, build up of, uh, you know, um, tension, anxiety when it comes to your work and finances, because you would realize that I have been, you know, ignoring my work. And that's gonna, you know, um, it's, it's gonna explode. It's gonna explode, explode by the, you know, by the second half of uh, the first half, like around the, you know, 10th through 15th of March. Um, initially, you are going to be, you know, spending more and good time with this person, whoever it is. It doesn't have to be your love uh, and trust. It could be, but I, I cannot specify that to it. But yeah, there is this somebody who is very close to you. Uh, who has been very close to you 
and is going to get very close to you uh, even this time around when they come uh, in your life but be mindful of the fact that <laughs> that's the that's the tricky part here when this is going to affect your life, uh, uh, when this part of your uh, life gonna affect your career, I believe you might, you know, drop it to as if this person never existed in your life because you your tension would build up uh, when it comes to your work and finances and you are going to, you know, right in the beginning, you are just, you know, giving them the time and they are, you know, uh, there with you and when you start seeing that you're you know that has been affecting your work and finances you're going to drop this person down and you're gonna you know refocus your mind to that your uh, to your work and finances and that's where this person or you it's, it's more like you know the sooner it will you know um it's more of you know two extreme energies i'm picking up one time you are ignoring you know completely your work and you know this love and trust is you know up there and the other moment you are just going to bring them back you will take them off from the pedestal and you're gonna refocus yourself to your work and finances because that's gonna be affected very badly when you would be with this person so um even though there's nothing wrong with this person here but it's more like you uh fail to maintain a balance between the two things you don't have to give your 100% to your love life and ignore your work and finances. You can keep the balance between the two of them. But I believe that, you know, even at work, you would be talking to this person. You would be thinking of this person that is going to, you know, um, affect the work uh, very badly during the first half of the month. And uh, as soon as you get to the middle of the month, like, you know, around the 15th, I believe you will be you know realizing that and you would explode with the tension that you had you know kind of build up uh, by that time so um try to you know just because these energies are yet to come so when this person reaches out to you or you may be already in touch with this person from your past but whenever that happens try to keep a balance between both the things so you don't have to you know it's it's like you know initially you are having so much fun you have lots of uh, things to talk about because you you talk to this person after a long time but if you're going to talk about everything on day one, what are you going to do the rest of the time? So it's like, you know, try to keep things. Um, don't get too hyper when you see this person. Don't kind of, you know, um, just, tr just try to be normal when it comes to you, this person in your life. So you could, you know, sustain that relationship with this person. But because I do pick up that energy, like, you know, this, the, the sooner or the quicker it will start the sooner it will finish so take it slow if you want it to last so that's the um that's the one thing i'm picking up here let's see what the romance and joyful cards has to say about your love life deception someone is wearing a false mask uh self mask in this relationship um <clears throat> <laughs> I, I do pick up the king of pentacles here whoever it is it could be your energy it could be the energy of the person that you are dealing with but i believe the person who is going to have this you know um uh how do you say it you know something's gonna just you know uh shake you that you know you need to focus on your work as well so the inner you maybe is going to be the one um you're going to take off the mask of your lovey-dovey things that you are going to be sharing with this person and you're going to you know focus on your work because that's how it is i don't see any negative energy around this person or your um feelings for this person but there is this um um you know something's gonna hit you like you know you need to focus on your work because otherwise you will lose it all so that's the deception i'm picking up coming from so uh like i said you could ignore or you could you know skip that part you could uh avoid that to happen if you could maintain a healthy balance between the two of uh, the things it's um it's more like you know your inner self is telling you look what you're doing like you know you have to uh, work as well to be um you know enjoying your life so you need to uh, work from that perspective i would say so try to keep things balanced so you don't have to you know um go through the it's, it's more like you know I, I feel like if if it ends it will end bad so if you want it to last then take it slow <sighs> red free yourself from pain 
if you really want to free yourself from pain that I would suggest you um, to take it slow because if if, if uh, you will be too attached to this person in the in the you know first few days that it will get hard for you or this person and you might you know end up hurting this person or yourself if you break this uh, up because of your work pressure so be mindful of that uh, don't uh, reach to the point where you have to you know abruptly end everything up between this and this person and yourself so let's see what the medical card has to say um you will triumph over obstacles and stumbling blocks um your wishes and you know desires will be fulfilled uh, it requires a lot of faith and confidence in your life uh, you will be gifted with the power to heal and begin to heal your own self thereby also benefiting from uh, people around you your positive aura will help to repel negative thoughts or energies take a walk in the sun for a few minutes breathe in fresh energies of nature this will purify your soul and rejuvenate and cleanse your chakras you must review your prospects at work and plan your future destiny foretells that you will soon be richer in the heart mind and pocket avoid wearing black Korean colors just for a few days as this could block your chakras and prevent their complete cleansing your ambitions will drive you forward and generate a lot of strength in you um i would talk about you know the thing that they mentioned here in this card um you will be gifted with the power to heal and begin to heal yourself if and if uh you have this person coming back from your past and if you have some you know blocks related to this person in the past i would i would suggest you uh, i believe this person is coming to um i don't know um maybe for some of you you might have you know uh cut contact with this person because of your money and finances earlier as well and if you really want this to work this time around i believe you need to focus you know, it's, it's more like you need to be balancing both the things in your life if you don't want to lose this person this time around. Because I believe if you if you do the same thing to this person and ignore this person completely because of your work and finances, I believe you will um you will not be able to heal yourself because it's it's more like you know you are going to I, I pick up that energy very strongly that you are going to go through the same phase in your life. It doesn't have to be with this person. Maybe you have had. That kind of a thing happened in your life before where you had to say no to a relationship because of your work and finances um you could only tackle one thing at a time and you chose your work and finances so don't do that this time around and if you have that thing in your mind in your head that um your love life affected your career once before and you don't want to this to happen again and you just cut communication with this person don't do that because that will um keep you in the same loop so you need to break free from that negativity that you have kind of you know kept in your uh, head so if you really want it to work take it slow so you could maintain the balance between the two things and you um and you would eventually heal from the past hurt that you are uh, you know carrying with you right now so yeah uh, that's pretty much it coming up for the Virgo people for the first half of march if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.